Hi guys, with all the parts that I've replaced on this printer now, hot end, rollers, hot end again, uh, stepper motor, yeah lots of bits, I thought I would risk trying the yellow filament again, just to see what happened with it because that's what I was blaming for all my woes before I found I had other problems. Can we even get it off there? Okay. That bit looks okay. I can't get that bit off. Oh, there we go. That looks okay. We've got a bit of an elephant's foot which is not a problem because I did have a setting for getting rid of that which I stopped using so I was having problems other problems so I um, haven't got a problem with elephant foot on this particular print yeah okay well you won't be able to guess what this is until I try it out But I'm glad to see the yellow was printed. Hi guys. I just did this rubber band powered car for my rubber band powered channel. Put a rubber band on it. It's um, a bit of a fishing rod that I found in the road. It was obviously an extending telescopic fishing rod. I'm guessing it had fallen off the roof of somebody's car or something and got run over. And there was this bit and a couple of short bits and nothing else. Anyway, that's a long story. I made it into a rubber band powered car. What I want to do now is see if I can make it a spring powered. Just use the flexibility of this bit of PLA. So I've made this, which should slide along here. This is um, whatever a 12-sided figure is. Dodecker something or other, dodecagon, which will fit on there. I've made it 12-sided because I could actually change the orientation. If I want a bit more power, I can tilt it forwards or a bit less I can tilt it back but that's going to slide on there with that pointing up that way and use it like a mousetrap car so we'll stick it on and see if we can get it to run this is also a test of the yellow PLA which I was having lots of trouble with and then it turned out it was actually a printer problem, hot end problem, not the PLA, because that has printed perfectly since I've changed everything on the printer. Right, that's the general idea. That's under tension, and the strings just wrapped around the back wheel, a back axle. So if we release that, away we go so we'll see if that works right normally I'd put some sort of hook on the back axle but I'm just wrapping the string round it so it goes over itself if you get enough turns on there it does actually grip and we can wind it up Okay, point that in the right direction. Mm. A bit more tension then, let's wind it up a little bit more. Yes, we are going to go. <laughs> And we're going to go right. Oh well. <laughs> it
it works. I'll put the camera on the floor, see if we can hit the camera with it. Well, that was a good run. So, PLA spring. Similar to a mouse trap car, but not the same. Job done. Oh, there'll be a link in the video description to the rubber band powered car version. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.